Hello, hello friends. This is Lindsay with another So Fancy tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be sticking adhesive vinyl to canvas. So if you were thinking that it couldn't be done, think again because it can. There's just a few special tips that you want to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's just a few basic supplies that you'll need for today's project, um, a canvas, of course, and I'm actually doing two canvases. The first is a um, five by seven inch canvas, and the other is a heart-shaped canvas. So canvases come in all different shapes and sizes. You're also gonna need some permanent um, adhesive vinyl, so like Oracal 651 is what I'm using in today's project. Um, your favorite cutting machine, so that can be your Cricut, your Scan & Cut, your um, silhouette cameo, what have you, um, to cut out your vinyl design. Um, and then you'll need your regular vinyl transferring tools. So transfer tape, burnery, burnishing tools, stuff like that. Um, and then there's a, just a few um, specialty yet accessible items that you'll want to pick up for helping to get that vinyl to stick to your canvas, um, which we'll talk about in just a second. But first, let's go ahead and start um, cutting our vinyl. So the designs I'm using for these projects come from the Whimsical Crafters SVG bundle available only at So Fancy. So if you want to check that out or some of the other supplies that I'm using in this video, then there is a link in the video description. I'm using my Silhouette Cameo 4 to cut out the designs in permanent adhesive vinyl. And permanent vinyl is going to be your best bet for this project. I'd shy away from anything that says like removable or temporary vinyl. Um, Oracle 651 is a great choice. Then go ahead and weed out the excess vinyl around the design and transfer it onto a piece of transfer tape. Um, a medium tack or maybe even a light tack transfer tape is going to be ideal. Uh, I'd stay away from a high tack or a super sticky transfer tape um, just to make the vinyl, um, transferring the vinyl onto the canvas a little easier. One of my favorite tricks for transferring vinyl is after I have applied the transfer tape, um, I'm going to remove the vinyl backing, um, but then I'm going to replace it with um, a piece of translucent parchment paper. And this really helps with lining up the vinyl design onto the canvas because uh, you can see through that parchment. But um, this step is optional. And we'll move on to um, how to get that vinyl to stick to the canvas. Because what you're going to see is that if you were to apply adhesive vinyl, so vinyl that's got that sticky back to it, um, you'll find that it generally sticks best to non-porous surfaces. So like metal, glass, ceramic, tile, basically a smooth non-porous surface. So when it comes to... Um, surfaces like canvas, which is a fabric, a porous fabric, then the vinyl is just not going to want to stick to it very well. Um, but to get around that, you can treat the canvas first with something that's going to make it non-porous. Um, so you can paint the canvas with acrylic paint. So I'm um, using a brush or foam brush, um, you know, just paint your canvas with um, some acrylic paint here. And you could really get creative and artistic here, um, but you could also just paint the canvas one color, which is um, what I did here. Um, and then you'll just want to let that, um, set that off to the side and let it dry completely before applying the vinyl. Another option you could use is a clear sealer. And this option is good if you want to keep that look of the bare canvas. Um, and don't be afraid of the word sealer. It doesn't have to be a difficult thing to apply. Um, look for uh, products that say, you know, clear coat or top coat. Um, and it can be the kind that you apply with a brush or if you hate washing brushes like I do, then um, a spray sealer is great. Um, and this is my favorite. It's an ultra matte finish, um, which I love, but you can also find sealers, um, you know, that have a satin or gloss finish as well. But another good sealer option is your just good old fashioned Mod Podge, which you can easily find in a craft store, um, maybe even in your local supermarket or dollar store. Um, and it's easy to um, apply with um, a foam brush. 
But whatever product you do end up choosing, it's an important thing to remember that um, the vinyl is going to adhere best to a smooth surface. So try to get smooth, even coats um, and make sure you apply enough of that product. So like with a spray sealer, you may need to apply two coats um, so that there's enough of it on the canvas to stick to. So now after you've prepped your canvas and you've got your weeded vinyl on the transfer tape, this next tip applies to how you'll want to apply that vinyl. And one of the most important things to remember is the amount of um, pressure that you apply because pressure is what is going to get that sticky vinyl to stick to the prepped canvas. Now with a stretched canvas like these where a piece of canvas is stretched um, across a frame, you really can't apply, apply firm pressure onto it because it's going to stretch out the fabric which doesn't always look as good as like a smooth tight stretched canvas. So here's what you've got to do. Find something to place underneath um, the canvas inside the frame. So this could be anything like books, um, a folded towel, you know, something like that. So place that underneath the canvas and now you have something um, to press that vinyl against. But don't press too hard just yet. Go ahead and apply the vinyl like you normally would to any um, other surface. Just hold back on the pressure initially. I'm um, in here, I'm using the hinge method of applying vinyl, which is the best method I've found to applying vinyl on straight, um, exactly where you want it on the first try. Then um, here's what you're gonna do. Flip the canvas over and burnish from the back of the canvas um, onto the vinyl. Um, with the canvas supported against your work surface, then you can really apply that necessary amount of firm pressure required to get that vinyl to stick. Um, and then when you're sure that the vinyl has been burnished really, really well, flip the canvas back over and begin removing the transfer tape. And here's where having that medium or low tack transfer tape comes in handy because um, the vinyl will release much easier than if you had used a super sticky high tack transfer tape. Um, but it also um, matters how you remove the um, transfer tape as well. Instead of pulling the tape straight up, try rolling it back onto itself. Just work slowly and carefully. Just watch that design to make sure that the tape isn't um, picking up any of the vinyl. And if you do notice that the vinyl is lifting, um, just roll the transfer tape back down, flip the canvas over and burnish that spot again really well. Um, and then when you um, go to remove that transfer tape, just really bend it back on to itself and continue um, you know, rolling that transfer tape back until um, you finally removed it all. And then flip the canvas back over again and burnish again from the back. And your finger is probably the best tool you could use to really get in there and press that canvas onto the back of that um, sticky vinyl because remember, it's gotta, it's gotta be the pressure that you're applying to the vinyl to get it to stick. Then ideally, if you can um, let the vinyl just sit um, for, you know, a day or so, um, you can let it fully cure onto the prepped canvas. Well, there you have it, friends, sticking vinyl to a canvas. These make some beautiful home decor projects, um, and they're great to give as gifts, super easy to make now that you know um, these tips. So if you like the designs that I used um, in the projects, there's a link to them in the um, Whimsical Crafters SVG bundle over at So Fancy if you want to check those out, um, as well as links to some of the other supplies that I used. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.